John and Susie had been married for 15 happy years, or so John thought. They had met when Susie was 23 and John was a promising young businessman. Susie's parents had not approved of her dating Bill, her high school sweetheart, since he came from a poor family. So when the wealthy and charming John came along, Susie's parents encouraged the match. John's business ventures proved extremely successful over the years, and he and Susie raised three children, Ryan, Amy, and little Sam in comfort. But John had always harbored some doubts the children did not much resemble him in looks or temperament. He tried to ignore these nagging thoughts, not wanting to destroy the life they had built. Finally, after 15 years, John could stand the uncertainty no longer. Suspicions aroused, he hired a private investigator, who uncovered the awful truth Susie had continued secretly seeing Bill over all these years. Confronting Susie, John demanded, How could you betray me like this? I gave you everything, and this is how you repay me. Susie cried, I am so sorry, John. I never meant to hurt you. I was young and confused when we met. I did love you in my own way. The three children were in fact Bill's, not John's. Heartbroken, John immediately filed for divorce and won custody and child support payments from Susie. DNA tests had confirmed he was not the father. When they met to finalize the divorce, John said coldly, I hope you and Bill will be very happy together. I'm just glad I found out the truth before I wasted any more time or money on this sham of a marriage. Susie pleaded, Please, can't we find a way to forgive each other someday, for the children's sake? But John refused to reconcile. The life of leisure was over for Susie and the children. They went to live with Bill on his modest farm. The children were upset about their new living conditions. Mom, is it true our real dad is this dirty, dumb farmer? Asked 12-year-old Ryan angrily. Why didn't you tell us before? Said 10-year-old Amy. We don't want to live here with him. Susie tried to explain. I know this is a big adjustment for you. Bill may not have money like Joe Dot like John did, but he's a good man. He's your biological father, and he'll take care of us now. We hate it here. We don't fit in, cried Ryan. Susie hugged her children. I'm so sorry I didn't tell you the truth sooner. I'll do anything I can to make this easier for you. But Bill loves you give him a chance. The children grumbled but went off to start their new chores. Susie hoped in time they would accept Bill and this simpler life. She knew she had made mistakes but vowed to be the best mother she could from now on. John focused on rebuilding his life, wiser but sadder from the experience. Susie regretted sacrificing real love for material comfort. She hoped one day John would forgive her so they could all move on.